It's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. Adults often use this adage to warn children about the possible consequences of innocent horseplay or practical jokes. But can one of those consequences be tort liability for battery or negligence? The Maryland Court of Special Appeals addresses this question in Gasamaya v. Schaefer. During art class, a student, Elaine Schaefer, pulled a chair from behind her teacher, Karen Gasamaya, who then fell to the floor and injured her back. Nearly three years later, after the statute of limitations for battery had lapsed, Gasamaya sued Schaefer for negligence. At trial, Schaefer testified that she intentionally pulled the chair away as a joke. She meant to make Gasamaya fall on the floor, but not to injure her. Schaefer moved for a directed verdict, claiming that the evidence proved she committed battery instead of the alleged negligence. The judge denied the motion but instructed the jury that the definition of battery is intentionally causing contact that results in harm or offense. The judge also instructed the jury that if they found Schaefer committed battery, they had to find in favor of Schaefer, because Gassimaya brought an action for negligence, not battery. Gassimaya objected to the judge's battery definition, claiming that in Maryland, battery requires not only intentional contact, but also the intent to harm. And because Schaefer testified that she didn't intend to injure Gassimaya, this element wasn't met. The judge overruled Gassimaya's objection, and the jury subsequently found in favor of Schaefer. Gassimaya then appealed to the Maryland Court of Special Appeals, again claiming that battery requires intent to harm. But she also raised a new argument, that even if Schaefer committed battery, her conduct could have also met the elements for negligence. Thus, the judge shouldn't have told the jury that they had to find in favor of Schaefer if her conduct constituted battery. 